Lean aims to maximize customer's value by eliminating waste through continuous improvement. For continuous improvement, the company needs to identify and minimize the eight common forms of waste. Before moving to the eight waste, if you haven't seen the video on what is lean, then you can click on the i button at the top right corner. Now coming back to the eight waste. The acronym for the eight waste is downtime, and this acronym helps us to remember these waste in sequence. Let's check them one by one. In our list, the first one is defect. Making defective products is a type of waste as no customer would like to spend money for the same. No matter the product is cheaper or expensive, it must be defect free. Possible causes for the defects are unskilled labor, quality errors, machine or tool failure, etc. Coming to the next waste which is overproduction. Production that is made before it is needed by the next operation or by the customer is overproduction. This waste is the worst form of waste among all because it contributes to generate other wastes. Possible causes for the same could be high setup times, fluctuating demands, improper line balance, improper supplier relations, etc. Now coming to the next waste which is waiting. Waiting for materials, equipments, person or information is a waste because waiting doesn't transform the product and doesn't add any value. Possible causes for the waiting could be no line balancing, communication gap, lack of end on system. Next waste is non-utilized talent. Many times the employee's skills are not identified. They are just given SOP based tasks. But the employee knows a lot more apart from their regular tasks. And here company needs to identify employee's capability and utilize that in an optimum way. Possible causes for this type of waste could be not practicing skill metrics, not practicing gamba. Another type of waste is transportation. Moving the parts and products unnecessarily within the process or outside the work area generates the transportation waste. Possible causes for the same could be reverse flow, zigzag process layout, multi-level shop flows, non-availability of proper MHE. Next type of waste is inventory. Having more than the minimum stock necessary for the precisely controlled pull system generates the inventory waste. Possible causes for the same could be bulk purchasing, variety of items, improper line balancing. Another type of waste is motion. Workers making unnecessary movements like lifting, bending, stretching and moving consumes more time which results in fatigue and low productivity. Possible causes for the same could be zigzag process layout, non-availability of proper tools, workstation not fit ergonomically. And the last is excessive processing. Performing excessive operation to complete the task is a waste. For example, reconfirming the product's quality at the multiple level. And possible causes for this waste are lack of awareness, process not studied, material not produced as required, improper tools. As a lean thinker, these ways should not be seen as a problem because these ways are a huge opportunity for continuous improvement. We hope this video will help you to identify the waste at your workplace.